I started at minus 4.5 and minus 4. And so now, currently, where are you at now? Now I'm at a minus 1.75 in both eyes, the same. Nice. How long did that take you? I started this in 2020, like early COVID times, wow. less than three. You're super outlier. Most, most, most people that I talked to COVID, the eyes got worse, actually. Yeah, I mean, it was... It was pretty bad. I was getting headaches and stuff. So you had headaches. Is that why you went digging for this whole thing? I don't know. I just I just had a feeling that like something something was wrong because you know my vision kept getting worse. You know, the optometrist said, "Oh yeah, it'll it'll keep getting worse, but then it'll stabilize." You know, when God, I love the I love those guys. Develop. For a long time, I wore contacts you know, because I didn't want to wear glasses. It was just getting a lot of negative side effects with the contacts. Couldn't do that. It was weird. I felt like getting getting to around where I am, like minus 1.75, minus 2. It's like I you can almost see. You, you, al you think you can almost see like without glasses. Like you can't. You really can't. But it's like you kind of get a taste of like what it's going to be like. Like, like, this is so low, it's not really doing much, but I'm still going to use it anyways to transition into that, to not needing the glasses anymore. Yeah. Don't be in a hurry, you know, because three years, that's a, actually, that's about right, improvement wise. Um, the closer you get to that last stop to where you need them and don't need them, going slow is, is a good idea. Works out better. And so reduction wise, like how did that go? Was it smooth? Anything interesting happened? Challenges, difficult stuff? Yeah, I think in the beginning, it was trying to reduce too quickly because it seems like it's a really like a long-term investment to make for yourself. That's like, okay, I'm starting this process now. And then in like two or three years, I'm going to get to where I'm trying to go. So then you think, okay, well, if I just only wear the glasses this long, then I will get through it faster. But you really can't do that for a variety of, of reasons. So I think it was trying to trying to move too quickly that, that got that gets one at the beginning. Yeah. And then how did you figure it out that that's not working? Just think, you know, things like um, eye strain, you know, with the reduced diopters, did you keep a log, a schedule, or did you just kind of wing it? I, I definitely wrote down the date that I would order the new glasses, keep track of it. And then you kind of realize, okay, this is like happening at this pace. And then it, you kind of understand it a little bit better. Where'd you get them? Order online? Or? I got them, I got them online, uh, Zinni. I think they were like 15, 16 bucks. So not too bad <laughs> compared to... Uh, what what one does pay at an optometrist <laughs> how much did you pay in an optometrist do you remember i feel like two or three hundred dollars is like cheap like at a at the eyeglasses or, or maybe even more than that i don't know it's it's been so long i can't really like remember for the full episode of this short-sighted podcast visit the back to 2020 member forum where you have access to this and lots more short-sighted podcast episodes along with hundreds of pro topic videos i've made over the years and access to our member forum that has over 90,000 monthly visits, tons of community and resources to help you on your way to get back to 2020.